What doesn't your soil test show you? What we do know a soil test will show us is most soil tests will start with a zero to six inch probe. Looking at the composition of what's in that soil. 10 to 15 soil tests per acre, per grid, per field will give you a good composite of what you're looking for. These soil tests will do a wonderful job telling you that you have calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and so on and so forth. All the minerals will show up on that soil test. Fantastic report, gives you good vital information. Here's what it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you that calcium is one of the heaviest minerals in the soil and will naturally migrate down and you will find most of the calcium in the fourth, fifth, or sixth inch of your soil test. If your soil test in a zero to six is combined, you think that it's all homogenized. The calcium may show up on your soil test, doesn't mean it's in the top profile of your soil. Minerals have to be homogenized and equally distributed throughout the soil profile if you want to have healthy soil. Healthy being without disease or impairment. Soil tests don't show that phosphorus can move laterally to the left or to the right. A good soil test won't show you that potassium doesn't leach much, doesn't have much movement. A good soil test doesn't show you that magnesium, one of the problem children within the family of minerals, likes to tie up nitrogen on a one-to-one -one basis. If you have excess magnesium in your soil, your nitrogen bill will be higher because magnesium loves nitrogen. If you have magnesium in excess, you have lumps, clumps, clods, hard pan, plow pan, and crusting. If magnesium is in excess, you do not have healthy soil. It does not show the electrical value of magnesium on a soil test. Sulfur, the fifth mineral, it does not show on your soil test that sulfur can leach up or down. Sulfur is like the shy, introverted child that may just disappear from the soil and you don't even know it's gone until problems arise and now you react to symptoms. The biggest thing that a soil test doesn't show you is air. Life-giving air that the microbes need. Life-giving air that the roots need. Fresh, clean, wonderful air that the plant needs because a plant exhales oxygen. The other thing a soil test doesn't show you is the calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and sulfur. It's a mining report. It just says they're there without giving any regard to availability. What a soil test doesn't show you is that every one of those minerals has to be hooked to oxygen in order to get to the plant and do its job within the physiology of that plant. My soil mentor many, many years ago, when talking about soil tests, he would say, soil testing is fantastic. It gives you a precise, exact set of numbers that are precisely ambiguous. From the beginning of Soil Works, we have worked very hard to correct the cause. It's hard to grow a healthy plant if your soil is unhealthy. What we look at is soil health brings plant health and correcting the cause will give you fewer symptoms to react to.